Ah, uh, yes. After such a long absence of mine, I am returning to play Secret of Evermore. Why? Because I feel like it. Oh, it says it says an intro. Oh yes. Let's let's go through the intro as I blankly talk over it. I guess. Yeah, hey, there's no reason I want. To, I, I, this is like oddly enough, I have a story about this game. At least when I came, it's one of those things when back when we get cartridges. Yeah, I, I specifically remember getting this particular cartridge version. Of, I know it's on an emulator. I ain't fooling anyone. But I had the cartridge version and. Oddly enough, I remembered finding it in a drugstore, a London drug specifically. There was a case of a bunch of retro games, and this was one of them, along with a bunch of, you know, sports games, no one they want. But the funny thing is, I looked at the cover of this, and I said to myself, this looks like an RPG. I didn't know anything about Squaresoft being on the cover. <laughs> I don't know if I acknowledged that. I just looked at the cover, and I was like, this looks like an RPG. I'll go for it. And, you know, surprise, surprise, it turned out to be pretty much an RPG. An action one, specifically. And it just ends like that? Uh, okay, okay, well that's the intro. Let's, let's just jump right in, then. And jump right in twice. I was hoping I could have talked more about it, but hey, I'm just kind of... I'm warming back... Oh yeah, warming into this. Now, uh, you obviously saw the previous game save. What I like about this emulator, it actually, uh, it actually has like a cartridge system and actually saves it on there. So I could actually load up the game normally as I would, aside from just using save states. Okay, uh, well normally I just, <clears throat> obviously you saw the name if you were paying attention, it is usually Max. I kind of went with like, you know, names from the 90s, you know, Max, Zack, because it, this, this game has a bit of a cheesy story if you played it, so with this one I'll go with Zack. Because technically Wikipedia would just call it the boy. But I'll just go with another 90s name. Okay, now we have to go through the intro. This game actually has quite the intro. Ah, oh, this sets me back. Oh yeah, just so you know, that little story I mentioned, uh yeah, it was it was way after the days of the Super Nintendo. It was the PS2 days I actually got a lot of these retro games. I just have a, a, I just have a love for them. I don't know why. There's a charm in this uh, the Super Nintendo games. Sorry for talking over. I mean, it's kind of quiet right now. The ambient music. I didn't read that. An experiment, yeah. I I I, I, I do remember how the beginning goes through. Should I actually talk? Well, I guess I should talk the dialogue through. I mean, everyone could read it on their own, but hey, at least it gives me the air to fill here. Oh, I should have done rehearses. My friends, prepare to be a part, be a part of history. With a twist of a knob here and a flip of a switch there. I, I think that's what I said. Wait a minute. That's not right. You just killed them all. Thirty years later. Ah. What a classic. My favorite part was the battle with the slime beast and the toxic swamp. You could hardly tell that it was really a bunch of old tires uh, uh, and a garden hose, I think it was. Where are you going, buddy? That's not the way home. Wait for me. Now where did he go? You blind fool. To your left. Hmm. The door is open. I better take a quick look inside. Or take a look inside. There's no quick in there. I'm gonna go insane. There you are. You know, I think the cat is long gone. Hey, where are you going? Yikes. Watch out for that. Waterfall. Oh. Oops. Hey, look. A mummy, a chainsaw, and a balloon animal. What? What the f I still don't understand. <laughs> Wall panel. Oh, yeah. It finds a secret door. I think we found some sort of secret entrance. Oh. I wish we could see this. Instead, we're kind of parsing through the outside of the building. But I guess that means they'd have to create... 
another separate zone. That could have been a tutorial. Wow. Looks like the... What? Plasma drive when... Cons... What? I can't use words. I wonder if it works. Whoa. I, this, for some reason, the tech stars are harder and something goes horribly... We'll go the... Get out of here before something goes horribly wrong. It's actually giving me time to read that. Hey, don't chew on those wires. There's a sneak preview of all the, the skins that dog goes through. Uh-oh. How dare they spoil it? What do we have here? An intruder, I fear. Is he talking rhymes? I don't remember that being the guy. That was some blast. Yikes. Who who are you? That's not important. We've got to get you out of here. We can't have you meddling with the professor's experiments. Come on. Home. Who is that, Carlton? Do we have a visitor? It's no one. No one at all. Continue with your work, Professor. After you. Finally, I disposed of, disposed of the child's remains. Now what? I can finally play the game. Bazooka. Oh no. This does not look good. I already... Am I pressing the right button? Oh, for some reason it looked like I was shooting. Ugh. I can't hit these fuckers where shit. <laughs> okay. Just gotta line them up. There we go. I'm sure you guys are... Oh, wait, I'm gonna talk about... This looks like the way out. Looks like a way out. Yeah, it certainly does. Is that you, buddy? I can't see very well. It's dark in here. Hey. I think there's some sort of futuristic escape pod. Oops. There goes the control pad. Oh, ho, ho. you silly, silly child. You innocent, sweet summer child. The game likes to do that. Go into 2D landscapes and the over map. Whoa, that was some landing. I think the pod and bazooka are, are shot. Huh? Where am I anyway? And where's my doge? Here, buddy. Here, pupster. Where are you, boy? Wow. Is that really you? You've changed. Hmm. If you're really my dog, go fetch the stick. Okay, go get it. Wow. This isn't the stick, but it'll do. Come on, buddy. Let's look around. Finally, we are in the game. I can sure my video didn't crash. Anyways. Now, if you're at all familiar with the Secret of Mana games, I think you're starting to see some interesting comparisons with this one. I don't know whether or not it came before, but I'm pretty sure it did because there's a lot of expansive mechanics that came out <laughs> later in the game. But... As you can see, it's pretty much a basic thing. You know, fill your bar up 100%. You gotta wait and base your attacks. And the dog has a mechanic where he sniffs. And you can find hidden stuff. Like, you know, ingredients. This game has a magic system that's based on ingredients. Instead of, you know, MP. You know, traditional RPG shit. But it's a little different. If you've noticed, like, attacking on the left and right. I don't know whether or not that's the Y or Z axis, but, you know, attacking left and right is far more effective. You have far more range. 
Now, I'm going to get into more details about this later, but I'm just going to get some basic shit. Initially, there is a boss that you're meant to lose on, but you can win it. You can do a little grinding, get some pedals, and maybe like one or two levels. You probably don't even really have to grind it, but eh, might as well. You don't really get much of a bonus anyways. Well, maybe you do. I can't remember if there's any bonuses aside from the experience for killing the boss. Or bosses. Roots. More ingredients that we can't really use yet, but those will come in useful. Oh yeah, just I'm yeah, you can hold the shoulder buttons and make them search. I'm making them do that right now. There's also a weapon mechanic. Again, if you're familiar with the mana games, let's show it. And here we are. This is it. Basically, I have to kill 100 enemies to level it up, or I think it's a little bit less, because I think you get two per kill, and it's it's not based on experience, it's just simply kills. So you can just kill weak enemies and level it up quickly. I have methods that I tend to do when I grind in this game. I'm obviously not going to torture you with all that, I'm just kind of giving a little introduction. Unlike how my videos previously were, oh my god, they were pretty bad. I admit, I fully admit, I did a lot of, I did torture stuff, like in Dark Cloud games, I've been, yeah, I, I should have been merciful on the editing, yeah, and he also, he also sniffs the chest, so, interestingly enough, a lot of the stuff you can't re-pick up, so it's not like a gathering game, find a lot of little stuff here and there, obviously I don't have alchemy, so I can't even, I can't even see what I have right now. Mosquitoes are more annoying than anything. They always do one damage. Funny thing is, you start off with the Bone Crusher. I'd say it's the most unique weapon, even if it's your, just your starting weapon, just because it has a different shape. All the other weapons just have three colors, which is kind of which is kind of lame when you discover them. Although I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. That's, I'm going to pause the recording, and I'm going to cut to when I have some levels. I figured before I'd advance, I'd just show you how the method is usually how I grind. At least grind the beginning here. So we go into the area. This is where the boss would show up if you advance. Instead, you get a little pedal that freezes your movements, and you go back down. And voila, the enemies respawn. That's all there really is to it. I haven't gotten much progress. But I mainly want to level up my Bone Crusher, or at least my, I guess, my ability with it to uh, at least level 2. Just so the enemies are a little... Ooh! Loot! Finally, a healing item. Did detect something, buddy? There we go. Roots. Anyways, moving on. Okay, so I did a little bit of grinding and managed to get my Bone Crusher to level 2. So let's demonstrate the charging mechanic. Yes, that is the, the charge up attack. Has a little bit of extra range, the big swing. That's all there is to it. There is a secondary charge I can unlock, but for now I think I might get by on just that. As you can see, I suffered some damage, so let's show healing. Yep, that's, that's healing all right. So time to encounter the first boss, or bosses. Well, maybe I should charge up first. I will actually keep it, keep it, let's see. Let's hold it. Oh, dog has to get in position. There he goes. I have a three feeling about this. Oh good, it's holding the charge. Oh no, Rapitopators. I suck. Oh. Ambush attack. From which angle? Oh, nice. Oh, and it's a miss. So we're gonna miss. Let's just go with the 100%. These fuckers are agile. There we go. Ugh. I have to hope that dog attack gets it in there. Ugh. Yep, butthole. Get back here. Okay, I might have to use a healing on him. Maybe I can take one hit. Oh. Okay. Hey, dog, you want to do anything? Okay, just stand there. Stand there like there's no threats. Nice. That dog attack, man. Where are you going? Oh, great. <laughs> oh. 
Ah, meh. This is, uh, this is, this is intense, isn't it? Oh, man, it's like a, uh, oh, oh, nice. It's really great when he attacks when he decides to. Interesting enough, this dog version is the slowest walking animation dog. It is so slow. So if he wants to pursue enemies, he goes at a, a pathetic walking pace. As opposed, and whereas later on he actually moves faster to oh, faster than you. Ah, that level gave us full health. I never thought I'd be so happy. Oh, the music's getting intense. Dog attack! I'm holding them still. Attack! Ah, oh, suck. Oh, he, he, he's getting real active. I'll hold him still, attack again. Usually that's the thing, you can stun lock him until the dog attacks. Oh, oh nice. Victory's ours. Oh yeah, 50 ta talons and a pedal. Bonus items, I will not miss out on those. <laughs> a pedal, the most common healing item. But is there? Oh yeah, there's night. There's some decent stuff here too. Cause that's this screen. You can't. I don't think you can revisit. It just like if you were to come from this area, it will just skip this screen and go right down here. So there are some bonus stuff here that we want to get. Even if it's again common shit. Oil, big whoop. It's pretty common actually. But the crystals. Oh yeah, crystals. <laughs> They're common as well. But hey, I'm making sure. Uh, usually I like to check that sometimes the dog doesn't detect it right away. This is this is interesting footage. I didn't realize I messed up the dog got. I think the main reason it skips it is because this shit's blocked off. And otherwise, you wouldn't be able to revisit this area because you actually, need, well, at least until you get a chopping weapon that can destroy the bushes. Oh, yeah, I can't sprint yet. I'm trying to sprint. Time for some story. Oh, wait, not yet. I guess I have to walk towards the hut. Normally, what would happen if you're downed by the raptors, you get a, I think you get like pulled to like some random villager and then you just end up going here. Yeah, no matter what. Now, interestingly, this ash always responds. This is like one of the only areas that I can think of where you can recollect the same material. Like if I were to zone and come back, I believe you can recollect it. So you can actually farm that stuff for free if you felt so crazy. Oh yeah, I just skipped some story dialogue. I, I gosh. Fire eyes, fire eyes. Fire eyes, fire eyes. I guess they chant fire eyes. What? Oh, oh hi. My name's Elizabeth. Everyone around here calls me fire eyes. Uh, hi. Zach is my name. Well, Zach, step into my hut. We'll talk. let this wild beast in here oh that's my dog he hasn't been himself lately what's his name his name it's oh you get the name to dodge I, uh... I just go with Rex because again that just feels like a 90s name you give your dog almost no one would call their dog Rex nowadays right right Rex like T-Rex, that's original, I guess. Nowadays it is. You're not from around here, are you? No shit. I'm not really sure where here is, to tell you the truth. You're on Evermore, in my prehistoric village. I'm the leader. You wouldn't know how to get to Podunk from here, would you? I always think, is it Podunk or Podunk? Podunk just sounds like the sound you'd hear when, I don't know, a turd hits the toilet bowl. Podunk? Hmm. Interesting. I might. Maybe we can work something out. 
How'd you like to make yourself useful around here? Well, I... The new village alchemist, Strongheart, has wandered off to the fuck my knee. <laughs> Some random person, an outer worlder. And now she's like sending me on like a fetch quest to save a freaking Gaia. <laughs> I never really fully grasped that until I am going through this now. He's been searching for alchemy ingredients that are plentiful in the muck. If you can help get back to the get, help get help him get back to the village, I will help you with whatever you need. Well, as Captain Leaf Meldrock says, in Mars needs lumberjacks. Mars needs lumberjacks. What? I'm ready for anything. Before you go. I'd like for you to have an alchemy formula that I've developed. It's called Flash. Pretty powerful against mean creatures. They're mean. <laughs> she gave me Flash. <laughs> you can use the formula whenever you have one part wax and two parts oil. Just select the spell and let it fly. The more you use the Flash Green, the stronger it will get. Cool, thanks. Now go, Edwell, Edward Elric. Be an alchemist of full metal. Go east through the quicksand. Yeah, I know where to go. Uh, well, it's already equipped, so fuck off. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, and look, look, more hash. You could always use more hash in your life. Okay, so let's uh, let's do what you do in typical RPGs. Go into places and plunder for free shit. They won't mind. Although, interestingly, you could miss on, on an alchemy if you do it way later in the game. If you steal items from a chest. I guess they don't think they didn't think too kindly on that. A lot of games like that. Ah! Did you see that? Spooky skull in a hole. It does absolutely nothing. It's just supposed to be like an Ooga Booga moment, I guess. And this kid has an iguana following. Yeah, there's a lot of interesting NPCs, and that kid has a bee following. I guess a pet bee exists in this prehistoric world. Bees are usually assholes, and they don't really listen to humans. Oh, purchase ingredients. I don't really care, but you have a decent amount of money. What does Flash take? Now we can take a look at what it takes, yeah. And now we can see our ingredients. What was it? Oil and wax. Uh, I don't even have any wax. Oh dear, maybe I should get some. I'm sorry, but you're a fucking poor man now. Because you just spent... <laughs> I didn't realize how expensive it was. Whoops. Ah, uh, oh well. Not like the getting armor or any of that. It's really important right, on, right away. Right now, the skin off our back is good enough. I did not want to talk to you. I want to rob you. Well, I did not want to shop from you. I wanted to rob you. There we go. I'll take your water. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> I you hate that in survival games when someone comes in and takes your shit. I say shit like I'm from Minnesota. Which I am not. Now, is there any... Mmm, robbing people blind. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, wait, 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 wait. What'd you find? Oh, you found water. And I found oil. And get out of my, get out of my way. Scum. Move. Oh, yeah, Jesus. Make people make it hard to rob from them. Just talking to people because I can't remember. Yeah, there we go. That's an armor vendor. Interestingly enough. Your dog doesn't really need armor because his stats are friggin' stupid when he levels up. Like his defense values and his attack values get so astronomically strong. Which makes sense, I mean, for at least because he doesn't have weapons. So I guess they balance it out by making him have ridiculous stat boosts. And he has basic attacks, at least until, until later. Later as in the end game. I'm getting ahead of myself. 
Oh, look at all that good shit. I wasn't even paying attention. I'm mostly getting water, not really getting... And there's more ash. Mmm. I think this is the this is the inn. You can see the rugs on the ground. They're a bit of a clue to that. Okay. I think enough messing around. Let's head out. Oh, yeah. Let's do our charged attack on stationary enemies. I'll let the dog finish them off since it's already softened them up. There you go. can one-shot him now with it. I know what you're thinking. Boring enemies, but we're actually going to encounter new enemies. Are you going to attack? There you go. That's a good dodge. Might get some roots. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's try out our flash ability. Yeah, what are these? Dancing shells? No, snail, snail shells. I'm thinking of a different snail. So that's alchemy. Flash is actually one of the somewhat decent spells. I do remember later you get... Oh, dog's dead! Oh no! I failed you, bum boy. Oh, well, I get more... Exp oh, the sound just dropped. That, that, that happens a lot in this game. Ooh. Look at that frame rate. Mmm. These guys actually, these are guys that I I commonly grind with in this era, area early on. Because they give a decent amount of experience and they also uh, give a decent amount of talons. Ouch. Well, this would be embarrassing if I die to these things. But they're, they're kind of hard to kill right away. Actually, since they're snails, they have high defense. And then their little little shell dance attack. And, eh. Oh, pink powder. I know I'm, I'm getting experience about the dog, but uh, like I said, he has stupid defense values. And I, I, do I have a biscuit? I think I got a biscuit from Robin. I got two. Fuck it. There you go. Sorry about that. You missed out on action. And yes, this enemy just randomly spawned. Attack, please. Okay. Yeah, I'm just kind of, I'm just kinda doing this for that little bit. Don't really need to. We got decent levels. I can advance. Oh, we got a place with some music. You notice this game doesn't have much music, but when it does have music, it's pretty good music. I'm not a fan of the jungle bubbity bump, whatever music it is. Why the hell he cut me off? I think I actually went into the right hole. There we go. <laughs> that's what that's what he said, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, he has some cheesy dialogue. Wow, I thought and I thought a little sand in the shoes was irritating. Herpeter. Oh hey, random person. Stealing so hard. Slow creatures easily fall prey to sucking in whirlpools. You need the speed of the jaguar. That sounds like a good alternative to being soaked in sand. I can provide you with a jaguar tooth ring. Gives the rarity the ability to run at the speed of the fastest feline. And it's free. With only one purchase today. Do I even have money? I guess I do. Which is a dog biscuit thing. Pixie dust. Nectar. Essence. Let's go with a biscuit. Please take a look at the gift to you. Yes. And now I can run with swiftness. And yes, he gives a tutorial how to run. Now we can run. Now, if I had a level 3 attack, you can actually infinitely run, which I, I guess it may have been intended or not. I don't know. I know later in the game, you kind of have to do it. Yes, yes, we should be able to, like Jack McCoy said in the Invasion of the Mole People, stay focused and watch your step. Stay focused and watch your step. I think he's a fan of B-movies, if you haven't noticed. Cheesy B-movies. I guess that's his character. Oh, 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 oh. I think there's something here. 
just covering the map a bit. Obviously, a lot of time they like to hide little things in the skulls. I just kind of know that off heart. Yay! Level recovery. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, and, and there's usually the, do the dog's freaking out. <laughs> Doesn't know where to go. Ash, yeah. And they probably put roots. Yep. And then he's going through another thing. Can I even force my way past that? He did. The dog can cheat, as you noticed. A lot of time, let's see if I can do it. Switch to him? Switch? Is my select button not working? Oh, yeah, probably because he's off screen. Normally, you should be able. I think you're. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. <laughs> oh no, we're getting cornered. Okay, kill, kill, attack. We're at a stalemate. Oh, come on, dog. Okay. I was getting a little concerned if we got brain damage or something. Took a little too much of head. The funny thing is, those, those these things could have capitalized on we were being cornered, but they just stupidly walked away. Hey, they're snails. Don't expect high intel intellect from them. And yes, we are finding stuff. Stuff and things. Oh, 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 no. Mistakes. Oh, good. Didn't send us too far back. Is he gonna say another thing? He's gonna say, oh, this is gonna re we're getting real annoying. This is kinda kind of old. You should really try to avoid those world worlds. Yeah, no shit, but I'm trying. I just... stupid. And is there no oh, there's nothing there. Yep. Yep. Oh. Just slap them away from me. A chrysotiles. Pincer attack. Finding some hash. Oh, we zoned. I, I just wanted to look a little bit more to the left. I don't think there's any more. Oh, wait. There is a little bit. I think it's like a backtracking what path. I could be wrong. Mm. Ah, more pink dust. Makes me think of Pepto Bismol. If they somehow powderized it, which is probably something. Oh uh, yeah, I think you can zone back here, but. Doesn't really lead to anything aside from some parts, I, I think. Got big whoops and clay and water. It is kind of neat. You can go back on a screen here and like, oh, well, there's nothing here, but we're here. Attack. Attack. There you go. Oh, you found something? That's weird. I can't even attack there. It's like I can I can't kill. I think I remember there's some weird areas like this. Where the dog goes to something, but you can't seem to collect it. Like right now I can't even attack. <laughs> they had a little lap around there for no reason. Okay. Enough dicking around. Let's head on forward. Let's get our second alchemy spell. Hooray. And yes, there's some freaky things in this place. Get some clay. Cutscene? Oh yeah. Sort of a cutscene. Whatever you call it for old time. Hello, friend. I don't get many visitors out here in Buckmuck. Well, I call it Buckmuck, but it's Bugmuck. I study alchemy. It's very powerful. Alchemy? You're not Strongheart, are you? No, but I know him. I saw him only a few days ago. He was walking toward the big bug. The big bug. Should I give them caveman voices? If you're going after him, you should have another alchemy formula. Ooga booga. Alchemy is quite useful. You take, you take a little, you take a little of this and a little of that, and poof, it's like magic. Let me give you hardball formula. Formula. 
it's an effective weapon. <laughs> it's actually, it's actually one of the weakest alchemies in the game. Thank you, sir. Thank you for giving me the ability to throw rocks. I feel like a real man now. <laughs> You're a man now, dog. The funny thing is, I'm pretty sure it's it's actually a very a very effective weapon if you're a speedrunner, because you can actually spam a shit ton of hard balls. I think I remember watching a speedrun of this, and they just threw like 12 hard balls and does like insane amount of damage. I'm, I might be able to demonstrate it. I think I know how it's done. I think if you cast it and then you just you just cast it again before you launch it. And yes, maggots. Maggots and bugs. And this is the commentary you come for. Oh yeah, let's try... I, I don't know if I know how to do it. I could be just... I could be just stupid. Now we cast it. Ah, not quite. I think you're supposed to just... You're in the midst of casting it, and you can just spam it. But yes, it is it is one of the weakest offensive spells in the game. In fact, I believe it is the weakest. Because when you level it up to its max level, I think at most it does something like, like 400 points of damage. Which is pretty sad, because normal attacks that you can do later do far more than that. Even though most of the time the attack caps at 999. Unless you combine different attacks together with your dog and all that. And I'm I'm getting I'm getting messed up. Oh no. Well I have a whole overabundance of petals, so ah, things here are mean and painful. I remember later in this world you fight frogs and those frogs they are mean. Even though they do not look threatening in the slightest, they do decent damage to you. Oh, great. Don't you love missing? There we go. This looks out of place. Isn't it unusual? It looks like a giant... a, a bug leg. Look at this! Bug legs. It's like it's the husk of a giant bug. Wow. The theme of this place is all about bugs and disgusting things. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm not doing much sniffing, even though it is a tedious thing to do. Hey, free wax. <laughs> Dodge found another thing. Probably oil, I won't imagine. Right, 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 right. You sniff there? Did he fake sniff? Sometimes he does that. He sniffs to a certain point and stops, and there's actually nothing there. Yeah, he fake sniffed me. The dog be trolling. I'm actually trying to level up my bone. That's why I'm not getting letting him engage in fights. Because I mean, his attacks level up too, but you know, he only has one dog attack. I have multiple weapons. I'll have to get. I'll, I'll be getting later. And I like to cap out my weapons even if I don't use them anymore. Because I'm I'm OCD that way. Hmm. Hmm. Why am I randomly doing that? Oh, he found something. Or did he? Attack. I like how I'm trying to do that right in the face of a giant skull. What, what's it called? Let's target him. Targeting feature. Mosquito Tar Skull. Tarskull. Very creative name. Tarskull. Well, I don't know what else he'd call it. Super Nintendo had this weird fascination by putting these little limb ball things on them. Found some hash. Hmm. Okay, uh, we can only get that stuff later when we're actually inside that that thing. Oh, I got her. Oh, man, they did do decent chunk of damage. Maybe I should go back and get that armor. 
got a little bit of a touch of grinding before fighting the boss, because he actually could he could fuck us up if we're careless at this point. Particularly he could fuck me up, and once the boy goes down, it's game over. I think. Oh yes, yes, that that is the case. Do not die. I think it would be imperative if I leveled up at least my flash spell a little bit and that is the tedious thing about leveling up things because just like your attacks as you can see they have to level up as well but the first level is really really quick it's in increments of 10 so you just have to use it 10 times and boom first level but then after that I think it's like five four three two one and yeah and that's where it gets ridiculous I think around something like six it gets down to leveling up by two I could be wrong I just remember <laughs> I remember the painful the funny thing is not all alchemies really need to be leveled because some of them actually have no changes which is interesting like, their effectiveness don't change, particularly with things like, I think, what are they, like, corrosion spells or some shit? I think at most it might actually increase how long they last on them. But beyond that, there's, I think there's no real purpose to leveling up certain spells. So yeah, let's, I'm gonna go back and kill some dancing snails, because they actually get decent, give a decent amount of talents, and I'll get right back to it.